is up YouTube fam? Hello, welcome to our channel. We are at our first stop of our road trip here. Um, we're making a road trip from Indiana to California. And we are going to our daughter's wedding at the end of May. Our little baby girl is getting married. Maddied? <laughs> Sheesh. And so, um, yeah, so we're making a road trip out of it. We are going to be staying at several hotels along the way. And of course, you guys know Goodwills. Yep. Um, so also when we are at hotels, we're going to look up to see if we could find any garage sales, rummage sales. Oh, yeah, can't wait. Um, anything like that. We are super pumped about being able to go to garage sales again. It is definitely garage sale season. Yep. And we're going to document all of this for you guys. So we're going to do a daily video so you guys can see every state that we hit and yeah, all of the places right. that we go yeah i can't wait for garage sales and stuff like that rummage sales if we're lucky enough on the road i know i'm too so so ready for it. i mean we love our goodwill we love you know thrift stores but there's just something different about garage sales yeah they're in the garage <laughs> Yeah. Or the yards. They're in, in the their, yard. In our sale. So, yeah. <laughs> so, as you guys can probably tell, our first stop is Chick-fil-A. Surprise, surprise. So, it would not be a road trip without Chick-fil-A for us. And, uh, yeah. So, we are actually headed to the post office next to unload some of our orders that we had to last minute get out. Um, we actually have someone in... Indiana that's going to be doing our orders while we're gone. We're going to be gone a total of five weeks. So yeah. um, so we've got Zoe, our um, handy dandy girl from Goodwill. We've hired her to put out all of our orders. I'm sure she's going to do a great job. Thanks so But it will be a nice uh, break from it. We will ship orders on the road if we decide to um, resell any of the stuff that we pick up along the way um, yeah. we'll go ahead and do that but other than that we have our worker be at home and um, yeah so we're gonna get into this food right here and next stop will be Trader Joe's in Missouri awesomeness Trader Joe's and there goes my husband he is going for the chocolate right babe yeah what <laughs> <laughs> chocolate oh yeah well that's for my wife oh yeah give me some chocolate any day anytime I'm there they got a crumble cookies over there and they do have one in California when we did live there but I never went my husband said he's had it and it was okay, so I'm not sure if we're going to try that, but... You want some right. of those cookies? Maybe. 
All right, let's uh, get in and get some groceries, honey buns. All right, we got some Trader Joe's goodies here. We're heading out on to the checkout and then to Bucky's. All right, so we just picked up some snacks and we like a lot of nut mixes and stuff. So we get like the nuts that we like and I make my own little nut mix, which is this right here. And it's actually- a bomb diggity. <laughs> so we actually haven't tried, oh, I just dumped it. All right, so I literally just dumped about a quarter of the bag out into my lap. So take two here. Um, this is a brand new nut mix that I'm mixing up. We usually don't put canola, but we thought that might be a good mix with toasted coconut and actually cornflakes in there. So we also got raw pecans, which is my favorite. I don't like salted pecans for some reason. So I always get the raw. My hubby here, he loves the pistachios, right oh, yeah. babe? Pistachio. Yeah, and since we are watching our salt intake, we got to the unsalted. And then, but we all, but we actually got the salted ones of the sunflower <laughs> seeds because we need, because <laughs> we need some kind of salt. So we opted for the sunflower seeds to have salt. So yeah, this is the, how it turned out. So hopefully it's good. I'm sure it will be. Yummy. All right, so we are driving through Missouri right now on our way to Springfield. And we actually just came upon a sign that said Fantastic Caverns. And we were just discussing um, our trip from California to Indiana back in August of last year. And how crazy that trip was. We were very challenged on that trip. Uh, we learned a lot about the RV. We learned a lot about things that we loved and things that we didn't love. <laughs> um, but as far as the caverns, um, if you guys haven't watched that video, check that video out. Um, we'll try to link it below, but uh, it was crazy. We actually rolled up to this place. We were the only ones that were staying in the parking lot, being an RV. There was nobody else there. And it decided to storm like no other. Yeah, and we're like, why are we the only ones in the parking lot? And all of a sudden you hear like the thunder coming in and lightning. Oh my gosh, we'd never seen lightning like, that crazy in yeah. our lives. Like it was just lighting up the, the sky for hours. Just, yeah. do, 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 just craziness. It's like a fireworks display. Because yeah. in California, you only have like Right. Like that. This one. <laughs> yeah, and thunder. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, the thunder's so loud and long. Like, it doesn't just thunder, like, really quick. It's like a long, like, motor, which is crazy. That's what it is. Even in Indiana, we have the crazy weather like that, too. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so that, that trip was just crazy. We are just kind of reminiscing about that. And, no um, sleep, either. Yeah, no sleep. Well, at least I did. Hot. Conditioner broke, the bed in the RV above us broke and yeah, was falling awesome. on us and it was just a crazy time. We had a great adventure, we loved it, we wouldn't trade it, but definitely challenging. Yeah, we survived. Bucky's! Woohoo! Yeah. Alright, there's Bucky's. Ah. It's huge! <laughs> they call the road Beaver Road. Beaver Road. That's, That's how, funny. Yeah, it's hilarious. Buckies, yay, yay. Here's some boxers, babe. Oh, thanks. Yeah? Oh. Beaver Nuggets. <laughs> That's awesome. What is this thing? I guess it's just a plush. It has a camera on it. Right. Yeah. That's you. These are interesting socks. Fill them. Weird, huh? Wow, this is awesome. All the swag. I'm just blown away how reasonable the swag is. Beats the black ones. Texas barbecue. Yeah, this is me right here. And they got the bakery. Wow. Now they make the nuts. Yeah. It's like they just blaze them. I 
Is your high maintenance lunch bag, huh, babe? Yeah, lunch bag. And then lunch or dinner, supper. supper. All right, we just got out of Bucky's and we got some amazing stuff. Yeah. So let's show you what we end up picking up yeah. at the Bucky's for our first time. Yeah, people were really cool there. Yeah, so Kevin got a blueberry what? Yeah, um, blueberry fudge. Blueberry fudge. Uh, uh, sorry, cheesecake. blueberry cheesecake fudge. Yep. Yeah. We and sampled a lot and it was good. Yeah, and then we got some. Korean barbecue. Yeah. We got the teriyaki. Mm -hmm. And the last of the beef jerky is those bohemian garlic. Nice. Which we absolutely love garlic. We do. So, one lady that we ended up talking to in the store, she goes, Have you tried their gummy bears? And we're like, No. She's like, You gotta get them. <laughs> She's like, I don't get the sugar free kind. Yeah. So, yeah. So we ended up getting the gummy bears. So, I'm not huge on fruit, but my man here, he's a fruity kind of guy. Yeah. So he is going to absolutely love these, but moderation. Yeah. He'll get maybe two a day. I I do <laughs> like gummy things, and I do like fruity things, but I have to be in the mood. But if you're going to give me chocolate, I'll take chocolate over fruity things. Yes, yeah, you day. will. So anyway, so that's what we ended up picking up. And then, oh, you also got your... Yeah, oh, yeah. Your ice chest or beef. Ice chest and beef. <laughs> End up getting an ice chest, a Bucky's one right there. Yeah, so. And uh, yeah, I needed actually an ice chest. Uh, lunch slash box. Lunch box. So, <laughs> yeah, I figure I saw this one. Oh, that looks cool. I'll get one. Yeah, yeah, I've been wanting to get them one. I actually have seen several at Goodwill, but they're not in good shape and they're used. And I'm yeah. like, you know what? He one, found yeah. one here and I was like, we've been wanting to get one and it's camo and he wanted something Bucky. So, you know, all three together just said it was a perfect match. Yes. So, Thanks. anyways, we also got our pulled pork sandwich and I got the sliced brisket. Yeah, so we're going to try these and see and what all the fuss about. We're going to give them a whirl yeah. and see. How we actually like Oh, cool. These. I was thinking they didn't put any barbecue sauce on them. I know. So that's what I was thinking. Did we forget the barbecue sauce? Yeah. All, All right. right. Here we go. Mmm. Yeah, it's good. Oh, that's yummy. That's really good. Very moist. This will be double in Cali. <laughs> Lots of flavor. Yeah. That's really, really good, actually. Not dry at all, because you know sometimes you get pulled pork and it's dry. Mm, this not is enough really sauce. good. Yeah, yeah, really, really good. So right. I would say for a pulled pork sandwich, I'm gonna give this a nine. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, this one. Straight up ten. Wow. Yeah, I like this one a lot. You like it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so there is our review on Bucky's. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it, and don't forget to like and subscribe and see more of our adventures coming soon. We're continuing our tradition of arriving <laughs> <laughs> at our locations at sunset. Yeah. This is what we did on our trip to Indiana from California and I guess this road trip too. So pretty. Traditions. Two traditions. <laughs> and the pole's right in front of it. <laughs> <laughs> and our car just died. Great. All right, we're about ready to check into our hotel, our first night at the Best Western. Not only the Best Western, but the Best Western Plus. Yeah, we plussed it up. Yeah, we splurged just a tad. <laughs> Here we go. And we're only staying one night. <laughs> yep. All right, so here is our room. We've already kind of loaded it up with our personal stuff here i've got my fan because my feet get hot at night so you know gotta bring it myself yep. and then i got my laptop bag he's got his guitar in case we want to hear him play some tunes we got our bucky's leftover so snack for tonight bed of course and i bring my own blanket yeah. there's no smell like the smell of home and we got Kevin's luggage over there. All right, and we got the bathroom here, which is pretty decent. We got a smallish tub here, but I just thought it was so cute. They had a bow 
for the toilet paper. All right, so what would you rate this hotel, babe? So far, hardwood floors. Nice. True. Away from the elevator. Away from the ice machine. Away from the ice machine, since last time we heard people be nice all night. And hopefully we don't have any screaming kids next door. Yep. Not that I'll make a crank call to have them say that there's termites in the room. <laughs> or ticks. Or bedbugs. Or so, piranhas. Oh yeah, my rating is <laughs> going to be piranhas. <laughs> Is it a water bed? Yeah. So um, far? It's got everything we need, even the microwave for the heat wraps. And that's and true. And the fridge in case we need that. Yeah, that's it's true. 10 right now. Yeah, so we'll see how we feel in the morning. Yes. All right, and we're going to say goodbye so we can oh. watch, our, yeah, watch our shows. And make a video for you guys. Yes. And until tomorrow, until we sleep and thrift and show you guys tomorrow, yeah, catch you on the flip side. side. Right, so here is the mini fridge right there and then we also got the microwave as you can tell but I just have to say it's just funny I just sat here and I was like my husband always teases me that we need a microwave in our bedroom because I pretty much live with a heat wrap and so he's constantly heating it up all night long for me and so this is actually out a microwave in our bedroom. So, can't complain, babe. Are you nope. happy? Yeah, I don't have to go all the way down the hall into the Yeah, it's area. so far since we live in an RV. It's just so far to go. No, I mean, like, <laughs> that's not that bad. But I'm talking about when we go to hotels, sometimes the ice maker is, like, way away from the room. Oh, right. Or the ice maker. The <laughs> microwave is way away from the room. That is true. So, this is awesome. Yeah. Good morning, what is up YouTube fam? What's up guys? We just had our first night in our hotel and it was awesome. We actually picked a really good hotel this time. Yay, yeah, yeah. yes. So Best but, Western Plus. Yeah, so they'll definitely be getting a good review from us. And um, speaking of reviews, we are gonna go review this Goodwill here. It is yeah. our first one on our trip. We're super pumped to get in there to see so what we pumped. can. <laughs> Find to flip on eBay for some big profit. Big so, bucks, no whammies. <laughs> yes, no whammies. <laughs> if you guys know what that show is, if you don't, just Google it. YouTube it. Yeah. Leave a comment below too. <laughs> yeah. Know. About whammies. Yeah. Or no whammies. We're giving it away right at this point. Big bucks. No whammies. All right, let's go in. Okay. All right, guys, here we are. My Thank you, honey. We are going to hopefully get some good stuff in the store today. Looks like they got all their bathing suits out. So the ones that I like to look for are the Hannah Anderson ones, especially with new attacks, of course. I don't know if I've ever found one, but I've definitely seen other resellers um, try to find them. Oh, the color is green, apparently. So that means we won't find any green today. Let's see if we can find any Hannah Anderson in here today. All right, starting out with not a good sign at the store. It is actually a used kids like vest with, I guess, a bathing suit top. And they are actually asking $9.99. So like I said, not a good first impression of the store, but let's see if we can catch something that they did not. All right, so I do like to go through the men's board shorts because we've actually found some bomb diggity ones in the past. Um, recently, I found a couple Nike ones that had some really like color print on them. Um, if you guys haven't watched that video, check it out. But not seeing anything yet, but I definitely like to look for the Nike ones. And then Speedo's not really that all that all of that. It's not all that. These are actually new with tags. Never heard of this brand. I think it's just some off brand, maybe probably from Amazon or something. I usually just look to see if anything like jumps out at me, like a really cool print. I think a lot of guys like the loud prints on their bathing suit bottoms, so or board shirts, however you want to call them. Ring of Fire. So that was 55. They do have over eight. I will probably look up this one. It does have some cool birds on it. 
All right, so I did look up these ones, and unfortunately, they just don't sell. Um, they're going for like 25 free shipping, um, and that is actually Nova Tags. So with that, we will leave it. They might get a little bit better price uh, since it's just hitting May right now, not into summer yet, but I'm gonna leave them for that price. All right, let's see what we can find here in the men's department. Oh, uh, my favorite anime. One of them at least, but definitely the one that had me get back into watching anime. To excel. Oh man, should I get it? I don't think about it. No! Nope. I cut myself off. I didn't know Shaq had his own brand. That's crazy. It looks pretty dope. To excel. Think about this one. All right, so I want to take a peek in the dresses here. I don't look at dresses very much, but right now I'm actually looking for something personal, which is a dress to wear to my daughter's wedding. The other one that we picked up at our Goodwill, our local Goodwill, was not going to work. So I am on the hunt again for a sage green maxi with like bell sleeves, boho style, very specific, I know. But that is what I'm going for. So let's see if we can find something like that. Or also I'm looking for a bridal shower one for my daughter's bridal shower. And she's doing kind of like a garden theme. So that should be super cute. So anything that's like kind of like a light floral. I think she's wearing white. So yeah, so I'm going to check it out. Oh yeah. All about Jesus. Jesus is the light. That's really cute. Actually, I think my daughter, Madison, or actually my daughter Morgan would love this as well. Definitely a homemade item, but I love it. So the same person must have made this one. Really, really cute. Definitely an artist. I mean, look at those flowers. Just super cool. This one too, maybe? Possibly, yeah, with those cut out hearts. Very cute. Oh, that's definitely a Terra shirt right there. Seriously. This could be a good find right here. A Cheech and Chong tank top. But, oh man, another anime shirt. I need to hold off on these. Not a lot of anime shirts here. My size too. Dude, someone donated all of their anime shirts. Oh gosh, I gotta hold up on that, guys. It's so hard. Ah, yeah, never mind. No. All right, so coming across this French shirt, the Central Perk, kind of a risen logo. It is half off because, or no, twenty-five percent off. And if it's worth it, then I'm gonna get it. All right, so I just came across this piece. It's actually a Tivana. If you guys don't know that brand, it was like in the mall. Um, it just didn't last too long because Starbucks decided to take it over. But anyways, it is a really cool mug. It's like a three piece. And I thought it would do good, but they actually just don't sell that well. And for $7.48, definitely not worth the pick up there. That is super, super cute. I don't think anybody made that. They want $14.50 for it. That's really pretty. All right, so I was looking at the Christmas section and I came across a lot of these lights in the night. They don't look like they sell that well, honestly. Actually, it's just noticing this one's a snow globe. So this one might do okay. Um, and then also I think the more unique one would be this deer one. I didn't see any listed or sold in this one. There is only a few sold total of the in this brand but i think if you do get a unique one it will sell faster than the other ones so they are actually only asking for something for considering uh, this store is pretty pricey so i might look up this one i think i'll probably get this one for sure because he's just too cool to leave behind but i'm gonna go ahead and look up the snow globe one rocco wear extra large it's like a jean type shirt. There's the logo there. Embroidered there. I can actually say that word now. I found something for me. This is my size. Extra large, tall. 
um, pocket Steve Carhartt 1340. These are marked up more than our local store, so man, not used to that. No way. Tara's gonna flip. They fully original shirt, a large, all around. Oh man, I'm gonna go show for this right now. I'm definitely gonna this. It's only 548. Alright, guys, so I found this Chick fil A shirt. I'm gonna get Tara's reaction on this right now. <laughs> hey, babe. Hi. How's it going? Oh, you must have felt so good with that look. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, Chick fil A! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's definitely going home with us. Yeah. That could be my night shirt. Large, maybe try to shrink it. Yeah, that's awesome. Thanks, honey. You're welcome. I love it. All right, so I just looked up and I was like, this is super cool. People absolutely love their nutcrackers. Um, it was originally $14.99, as you can see. It's by a company called Celtic or Celtic. I'm going to go ahead and look this up to see, but it's made in Poland. So I don't know. Being new in the box and being nutcrackers, I think I'm going to give this a little look up. All right. So just checking out the little trinket area baskets and pictures and stuff. This is really cool. This reminds me of my brother. And then this piece actually reminds me of my mom. She loves frogs. Um, I'm not sure what this goes on. Maybe a flower pot. But I think I'm going to go ahead and pick him up because he's super cute. And my, I think my mom's going to love this. Okay, so I just found this really cool... I'm not even sure honestly what this thing is. It's got like a little hole in the top. Um, I don't... I think it is missing a piece, unfortunately, but... It's got a little cup with it and obviously the plate or saucer, but it's by Celtic, Celtic Connemara, I guess. And I guess it can, this brand does pretty well. Um, I wish it had the other piece, but I think, I think I'm going to still take a chance on this for $4.74. Cute little butterfly, handmade piece. We got quite a few handmade pieces here which I actually love. I wish I was artsy enough to make something like that, but I'm not, so I will enjoy other people's. Let's see, we got a teapot back here. No brand, unfortunately. I like looking at teapots because some of them can do extremely well. One of our first videos that we put out I found a teapot that was worth a few hundred dollars and I paid, I think, I want to say around 10 to 15 for it. So definitely be on your lookout for teapots. Speaking of teapots, I think this is a teapot. How cute is he? Oh my goodness. Not sure how to even pronounce that, but I'm going to definitely look him up because people love Humpty Dumpty. So actually, I'm pretty surprised that he's really only worth about $20 shipped. So unfortunately, we're going to have to leave him. So Humpty, don't fall off the shelf because I don't think we're going to be able to put you back together. This is a new brand. I don't know. Uh, it's by Cinch. This one is 937. So a new brand to look up, guys. Whenever you don't know it, just put in the cart and look it up. Because you never know what you're going to get. And that Christian brand. 416. Famous by Lecrae. Christian rapper. 548. Hmm. Praise Jesus. Puma. Nice golf shirt. I personally like Puma. Polo tees. 937. That's uh, doable. Fairway and green. I never heard of this brand. This is a cool print though. It's got umbrellas. In it. No, it's got to be umbrellas. Yeah, it looks like umbrellas though. Lake Forest Country Club. Okay, I'm gonna look this up. There's so much anime here. 937 for this tee. Oh, I like sucker for anime and tie dye. Oh, what? Link 182 shirt. Oh shoot, this could go for good money. Blink 182. The summer 2016 tour. Blink 182 from San Diego. Actually, you guys didn't know that. I used to see those guys for about 10 bucks. Almost 
every other weekend, or at least once or twice a month. They were local boys. <laughs> oh, no way. You got it, dude. Classic. Mine throws a twins up. All right, so I kind of got excited because I thought these might have been Hallmark ornaments from a distance, but as I got closer, there are these Americana Liberty Falls. And just want to let you guys know these are not worth anything. So if you guys find these out in the wild, I mean, you can look them up. I haven't had any good luck finding any that were worth picking up, unfortunately. Because this would have been a really cool lot. All right, check out these cute little stampers. As you can tell, they're really vintage. 1994. I'm not sure the brand, but there's three of them. I think they're by Noteworthy. I'll give these a little look. Of, I don't think they're going to be worth much. If anything, maybe lot them together for $1.34 each. But we shall see about those. All right, y'all. It is a very monumental day today. I have found my first pottery barn bedding sheets, whatever you want to call it. I am very stoked because I haven't found anything pottery barn ever until today. I'm sure Tara will be super stoked for me finding one. And let me see what price it is. Uh, 17 16 All right, here comes my man. What'd you find, babe? The monumental moment in my <laughs> life of thrifting. <laughs> First pottery barn. Yes, pottery barn. Awesome. That's a cool print too. Yes. It's a, I don't know what print I think it's a duvet. It up, but, uh, I think it's a duvet. It's a full, this. which might be a little bit of harder yeah, sell. Do they have the shams? Oh, this is the sham. Oh. Okay. Yes. That is the pillow sham. Okay. Yep. So right there, Pottery Barn. Good job, babe. Thanks. And does this come with it? Separate from each other. So oh, they were? Oh, I, I don't see an extra tag, so it probably does go with it. I mean, for the $17 price tag on it, it probably does go with it. But the store is quite pricey. It is pricey. But we'll look this up because if it's worth around 80 to 100 it's still going to be worth picking up even if we have to pay up for it. Because you guys know Pottery Barn sells. All right, we're going to look it up. Good luck, babe. Checking out the plush here and I actually came across this Build-A-Bear. Now, I've been looking more closely at Build-A-Bears because some of them can actually do really well. I thought this one was quite unique, so that's why I decided to look into him. Um, I did find comps for around 30-ish. So if he was $1.99 or something like that, I would probably give him a pickup here. But they are asking $14.71, so I am going to go ahead and just... Leave that little guy on the shelf. All right, so I'm checking out the purses here, and I came across an Apple Bottoms. Now, I know this brand. It's actually a vintage brand. So I thought it was quite intriguing to look up. All right, so it is a vintage brand. I know this brand because my my 19-year-old right now used to wear a two-toddler dress. It was Apple Bottoms. Now that was like, what, 17 years ago? So um, they were around before that. So I decided to give this one a little look up and looks like, you know, there's not a ton that have sold. There are some listed. This one's in really good shape. And what intrigued me to pick it up and possibly purchase it is because it's actually green tag. So we found our first green tag, which is, is it half off? Actually, you know what? I think it's only 25% off. So I was thinking it was half off. So I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it. But if it was half off, it would have only been like six something. It might have been worth picking up and holding on for a while. But being only 25% off, I'm going to go ahead and leave it. All right, so I found these really cool boots. I've actually never heard of this brand before. It's called Caballo Dorado. So I decided to give them a look up and... Unfortunately, they want $30, and they're probably not worth much more than that, but they are in really good shape. Nice pair of boots. If they were worth, if they were priced lower than that, I might consider picking them up. But for that price, we're going to go ahead and leave these boots. These boots aren't going to be walking on me, that's for sure. 
Right, there's my handsome husband over there. Hopefully he found more better things than me today. How'd you do, babe? <laughs> nothing. Nothing? Uh, because they're so priced. I know, they're so high priced here. But you did find the Pottery Barn. I and I think that's going to be a really good pickup. Yes. I they'll be proud. Thanks you just have mentor wife. Yes. Thank you, thank you. This oh yeah, priceless. that is priceless. You're right. I forgot about my Chifoy oh, shirt already. That's cool. Okay. This one I found for you. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> yeah, a little big. I think we'll leave that one. But yeah, definitely me. All right, so I've got a couple things in here. We're gonna wrap it up and get on out of this store okay. and head to our next destination, which is Oklahoma. Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Woo -woo.